Welcome, my name is Hazard. I'm an F-35 fighter pilot for the Air Force. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the requirements in order to become an Air Force pilot. All right, so number one is to have a four-year degree from an accredited university. So there are four main paths to becoming an officer, which is the first step to becoming a pilot. There is going to the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs. There is doing ROTC in over a thousand colleges. There is doing OTS after college. And lastly, there is applying to the Guard, that's essentially the state's miniature Air Force. Next is to pass a selection board prior to age 33. This is great news, the Air Force has extended the age for pilot candidates. So if you're in your late 20s, early 30s, you can still get after it. Next is to meet the Air Force height and weight requirements. So there's no hard and fast number for this now. So they're looking at your sitting height, your eye height, your femur length, all these factor into can you survive an ejection, but I'm six foot two, 210 pounds, I'm fine. I know on the opposite end of the spectrum, smaller people, they've been fine as well. So I think you'll be all right with this. The only way to know is to go to an Air Force flight surgeon to find out. All right, next is no hay fever or allergies after age 12. Now this is important. You don't want a pilot to have trouble breathing when they're flying, especially if they're in a single seat jet like the F-16 or the F-35. But you can always apply for a waiver and see if that goes through. Next is vision. It has to be correctable to 2020. This is huge. You don't have to have perfect vision anymore. It used to be like that. It's now no longer like that. So if you hear somebody saying that, make sure to, to correct them so that we can get rid of this myth. But it just needs to be correctable to 2020. I fly with pilots all the time who fly with glasses, contact lenses, surgery. Now a surgery, I would caution you to not get that surgery prior to entering the Air Force. The Air Force has a very specific way that they want that surgery done. So I would wait till you get in the Air Force, it'll be free. And then also the Air Force will do it in their specific way. You need to have normal color vision and depth perception, makes sense uh, being a pilot. And then your refractive error can exceed plus two to minus three and no more than a 3.0 for an astigmatism. And lastly, you have to be a US citizen capable of a secret clearance. Now, the only time I've seen this be a factor is when people have run-ins with the law. So if you have, be honest on your application. From my experience, if it's just a misdemeanor, if it's a one-time offense, you'll probably be fine. But the biggest thing is just being honest on your application. So those are the requirements in order to become an Air Force pilot. Let's talk about things that you can do to help yourself. Number one, get good grades in high school. No matter what you wanna do, no matter what route you wanna go down, having good grades is gonna set you up and keep doors open for you. Next is to do well on your ACT and SAT. So I didn't get straight into the Air Force Academy. I had to go to a year of prep school and they threw us all into an SAT, ACT prep course. And on the SAT, most of us got about a 50 point bump in our scores. So take a SAT prep course and I think it'll help you. Next, play a sport. So flying fighters is mentally demanding. You have to have thick skin. You have to be mentally tough. Sports will do that for you. It also help with teamwork. You also have to be physically fit. So help that as well. So sports are a great way to prepare to be a pilot. Next is to be a leader. So the Air Force, as an officer, you're gonna be a leader. So if you're playing a sport, try to be a captain. If sports are your thing, it's still important to be physically fit but try and be a president of whatever club you're into. If it's debate team, try to be the debate team president. If you're on the chess team, be the president of that to show some leadership uh, ability. Next is volunteer. So the Air Force, one of our core tenants is service before self. So we're looking for the total person concept, people who are willing to put uh, the needs of the Air Force before themselves. So try to find some time to volunteer doesn't necessarily have to be picking up trash, although if that's what you wanna do, that's great. For instance, I, in high school, was a ski patroller, so I'd ski around the mountain, help people that were hurt. It was a lot of fun for me, and I was helping them as well. So you can get creative with that. And then lastly, and most importantly, take initiative. So that's the most important thing that we look for in new pilots, take initiative. You can follow all these different accounts on social media, whether it's the Air Force Academy, ROTC, Guard, or OTS. They're on every social media platform, so follow them. Go to their websites, subscribe to their uh, newsletters as well as their mailing list. This information tends to change pretty often, so go on there, follow them so you can get the latest information. I hope that helps. Good luck, 
If you enjoyed this, make sure to follow and I'll talk to you soon.